we are asked to determine in which limits below can we use L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule, also called Bernoulli's rule, uses derivatives to evaluate limits involving indeterminate forms. The most common indeterminate form is zero divided by zero. However, if the limit is in any of these indeterminate forms listed, we can apply L'Hopital's rule, which states the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. And the idea is that this limit will be easier to evaluate than the original. But again, we can only apply L'Hopital's rule if it's in one of these indeterminate forms. If it's not, L'Hopital's rule does not apply. For this exercise, we are only checking to see if L'Hopital's rule applies, we are not determining the limits. Looking at this first limit, we have the limit as x approaches infinity of this rational function. To determine the form of this limit, we only have to analyze the term with the highest degree in the numerator and denominator. And this is because the highest degree terms will overpower the remaining terms. So for the numerator, we're only concerned about 5x squared because 5x squared will overpower 9x and 6. In the denominator, we're only concerned about the term x squared because x squared will overpower 7x and negative 9. Looking at the numerator, as x approaches infinity, 5x squared also approaches infinity. Looking at the denominator, as x approaches infinity, x squared also approaches infinity. This limit is in the indeterminate form of infinity divided by infinity, and therefore we can apply L'Hopital's rule. Next, we have the limit as x approaches infinity of natural log x divided by the square root of x. As x approaches infinity, natural log x also approaches infinity. And as x approaches infinity, the square root of x also approaches positive infinity. Now if we wanted to, we could look at the graph of natural log x to verify this does approach infinity as x approaches infinity. Here's the graph of f of x equals natural log x. Notice as x approaches infinity, or as we move to the right, the function values continue to increase indefinitely. Even though they don't increase very fast, they still approach infinity. So L'Hopital's rule does apply to this limit. Next, we have the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x divided by x. As x approaches infinity, e to the x approaches infinity, and so does x. This limit is in the indeterminate form of infinity divided by infinity. L'Hopital's rule does apply. If we look at the graph of f of x equals e to the x, which is here, we can easily see as x approaches infinity, the function values increase without bound and do approach positive infinity. The last limit, we have the limit as x approaches pi over six of sine x divided by the quantity pi divided by six minus x. Looking at the numerator, as x approaches pi over six, sine x approaches sine pi over six. Looking at the denominator, as x approaches pi over six, pi over six minus x approaches zero. And then finally, sine pi over six, and finally, sine pi over six is equal to one half, which we can verify in the unit circle. Here's pi over six on the unit circle, sine theta is equal to y, sine pi over six equals one half. This limit is in the form of one half divided by zero, which does not fit one of the indeterminate forms for L'Hopital's rule, and therefore L'Hopital's rule does not apply for this last limit. I hope you found this helpful.